Breaking news, tension rises as ex-Anambra governor storm federal high court for Unandi Kanu's trial. Yes, it's happening. Thank you, sir, for going because Nigerian government has turned themselves to, um, you know, a bunch of people who are, not, who are not tyrants. It's supposed to be a democratic government, but right now what we are experiencing, and every one of them are quiet. Governors, senators, every one of them are quiet. And I wonder truly, really, if this is the mandate the people gave you to represent them. Is it not a cost that this man is bad enough that is in police custody and they said nobody must come to his trial and everybody stands and behave as if you are so scared nobody is able to speak nobody is able to raise his head what kind of oppression is that eh? have you heard in this country this country i'm not talking about any other country that full any men have been uh, you know have been criticized for the sin they have committed have you heard have you heard maybe i maybe i missed it have you heard the answer is no. Please, if in case maybe I missed it. Eh? So in case I missed it and I'm just speaking without knowledge on this matter, I will apologize to you. Send me, send me full detail how he was apprehended, how he has gone, he has been in police custody and right now he's going through trial or he's in prison for this crime he has committed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Serious tension as ex-Anambra governor stormed Federal High Court for Onandis Kanu's trial. A former governor of Anambra State, Chukwe Emeka Ezefi, has arrived at the Federal High Court Abuja to witness the trial of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandi Kanu. Ezefi was appointed by the leadership of Apex Igbo organization Ohanieses Indigbos to lead a delegation that will monitor court proceedings. Nandikanu will be continuing today, four years after he left the country, fleeing for his life because he felt his life was in danger in the hands of Nigerian government at the time. He left the country since 2017 and was brought back in an unknown condition by Nigerian government and Kenya who brought him back repatriating him to Nigeria. He's facing several counts brought on him by the Nigerian government on possession of illegal firearms, terrorism, treasoning, felony, which carries the penalty of death. Nigerians are watching as well as the Americans have sent delegates to watch this matter closely on Onandi Kano. What will possibly be the outcome? Because if you're not aware, the Fulanis have also given Buhari an ultimatum that he should not only go after Unandi Kanu or Sunday Boho, but he should go after the people they thought. They said they should go after Igbos and Yoruba leaders who may be, according to them, sponsoring Unandi Kanu. This is the problem. This is where we are now. They said there are Igbos and Yoruba leaders who are sponsoring Unandi Kanu as well as uh, uh, Kanu as well as uh, 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 Sunday Boho that uh, they should they should go after those people that those people are the real criminals according to the Fulanis. That is the ultimatum they've given Buhari and his cohort. So when you look at the country, don't you think that there is a problem? But anyway, thank God that you know the ex governor was able to come. The ex-governor was able to come because they've just left Unandi Kanu to himself as though he was fighting his own cause. Unandi Kanu was not just fighting his own cause. He was speaking for the voiceless. Yes, you know, what is going on in the southeastern part of the country is, I mean, all the governors, the five governors are quiet. It's a very shameful situation. Shameful. Shameful. It means a shame plenty for the matter. Eh, that's what it be. Shameful situation. They've abandoned their own. They've left their own. You know, why other people are speaking out for their own? They, they've abandoned their own. That's so it's supposed to be. That's so life's supposed to be. The answer now, no. You're not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be like that at all, at all. But what's the Nigerian government they do? And honestly, I don't tell the governors. Every one of them are so then quiet. Pretend like all is well. You know? So this is the matter. This is the new thing ongoing now. This is the this is what we are currently facing, and uh, we are we are ca calling out to everybody out there that the support should not just be in words. 
whatever way capacity you can support in prayers, whatever way, whatever you can do, it will be very needed at this point in time. It will be greatly needed because, you know, these men, Nandi Kanu and Sunday Boho, are both facing trials, you know, going through court proceedings today, you know, all regards to Nigerian government. We've not seen these bandits who are killing people. But the truth of the matter is we all know what is happening. Buhari wants them to eliminate the indigenous people that have the land so that they can bring in, they can bring in Fulanese from West Africa to take over Nigeria because they said Nigeria belongs to them. And systematically, they can begin to infiltrate into the South. This was the sole reason why Buhari wanted Ruga. So how many are the Fulanese that you want to place them in every state, every state of the country, even if they put them to two? <laughs> this is just me making fun. Do you get what I mean? So this is the problem as we speak currently ongoing. This is the main point of, this is the main bone of contention. As me and you, they talk so now the matter be this way they happen. These are the issues going on on ground. Our Nigerian government are intimidating their people, causing untold suffering, harm and danger to the very people they swore to protect. Nigerians, we've got a duty here, standing up for the truth, for what is right. Standing up for truth and integrity. Do not allow ourselves to be intimidated in any way from our kind. It's the only way forward. And it's the only way forward. Because all that is currently happening is a clear indication that if we keep quiet and pretend that all is well, we'll be swept beneath the carpet. You know? And that's where people begin to pretend that, you know, begin to hide things. Already they've told the media not to report what is going on. Intimidation at the height. You know? Let's talk to our God, though. He needs to deliver us from this uh, bondage. Because that you like it or not. Remember that movie now? Merit. Nandi, okay, okay. Uh -huh. We are living in bondage with what this government is doing already. This is called living in bondage. That's what we are experiencing already in Nigeria. Living in bondage. So, how do we solve this matter? How do we take care of these issues? How do we ensure that we are out of this bondage? By you and I doing the right thing. Speaking up and defending these ones in every way humanly possible, ensuring that their voices, you know, what they are, the fight, the song says, the labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. These are the heroes, these are the true heroes, not the ones that they tell to go and kill people. They know the people are, are innocent, yet they go about and they carry out these atrocities. Those are not heroes. Those are blood-sucking demons. You know, those are wicked people. Say you be police, you be soldier. They tell me go keep us, you really go kill her. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Bye for now.